Welcome back. The cat show returns to Burlington this weekend and for feline fanciers, it's a must see with 225 cats from 45 different breeds showing up to compete. Nancy Watt is the show manager and joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So for people who might not be familiar with what a cat show is, what sorts of things happen at one of these events? Um, first of all, these events are made to uh, judge the cats from different breeds according to uh, the st uh, standards for each breed that were established by uh, our cat association, which is the Cat Fanciers Association. The purpose of uh, the judging, first of all, is we like to show our cats and compete against cats from all over the world because we do have exhibitors coming to Burlington from uh, Europe and uh, all over the U.S. and that helps us improve our breeding programs. Mm -hmm. Most cat owners think their cat is the best cat so how do the judges then objectively pick the winners? What sorts of things might they be looking for in a cat? Depending on the breeds, um, there are standards for the breeds. So, for example, if we take a popular cat who is the Persian, um, we we the standard says that the cat must be uh, a medium to large cat. It has to have good boning. It has to have a round head. Uh, has to have a short nose, big eyes. So the judges are going to attribute points to the cat that they're judging according to the standards of that breed. Then once they're done judging uh, that the whole class of Persians, they will decide which one is their best Persian uh, and then that best Persian is going to compete against other breeds later on in the day. Got it. Um, so if someone doesn't have a cat to show, what sorts of things can they do this weekend? Uh, there's so much to do. Um, one of our one of our uh, big big crowd uh, pleasers and attractors is our parade of breeds. Um, the parade of breeds is um, is held just across from the show hall in the same venue uh, as we're having the show, and um, it's hosted by one of our uh, all breed judges. And what uh, she does is she takes different cats and brings them up to um, to what we call the catwalk, and uh, will explain what the different breeds are. Uh, there are also going to be uh, several vendors uh, selling all sorts of uh, items related to cats. Uh, so there's going to be jewelry, there is going to be cat toys, um, and so much more. Uh, and then there's the judging, of course, which is really interesting to watch. And just walking through the aisles, talking with the people, talking with the breeder. Uh, I mean, you can pretty much spend, if you want to, a whole day uh, and not get bored. And so for people who might have, um, you know, what I'll call a domestic short hair, um, you know, you old cat that they might have gotten from a shelter or something. Is there an opportunity for people to kind of show off those cats at all? Absolutely. Uh, one of our judging categories is what we call the household pets. Uh, and these are cats that are, uh, that are not purebreds. Uh, they can be a shelter cat. And, and really, the, 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 the um, awards are given depending on a lot on you know, how cute the cat is, how he behaves. Uh, and it's a great opportunity to learn about cat shows. And, uh, you know, they, they, some of them should be shown. It's not just all about purebreds. Now, some people are going to want to pet the cats if they go to an event like this. Is that something people can do at this event, or is that considered a no-no? Um, we do have uh, what we call pet me cats. So the pet me cats are cats that are brought to the show by uh, owners, uh, specifically to be pet. And um, so you can pet those. Usually there's going to be a sign up on the cages where these cats are. For sure. And if you'd like to see that happen, the cat show is Saturday, Sunday at the Double Tree on Williston Road in Burlington from 10 to 4. It's $10 cash at the door for adults to get in. Seniors and children up to age 15 are 7 bucks, and kids under 5 get in free. We'll have more information on our website with this story. Nancy, thank you so much. Thank you very much.